Richard, I'm going to have you come on up here, mm-hmm. and I'm just going to read some scripture. And uh, you probably heard me read this the other day. Um, and um, just kind of make sure we, we frame everything yeah. so we know what we're doing today. Yeah. And let me just say this. I told you at the front end yeah. how excited I was that you yeah. decided to make this decision. Yeah. It's a brave decision to do that. Yeah. yeah, I got to thinking about the fact that when a soldier goes to join the Army, the first thing they do is... Uh, they they repeat after whomever right uh, the uh, the uh, um, uh, the uh, I don't know what they call it but the pledge I guess you might yeah. say oath. of what they're supposed to the oath that's why that's what I'm looking for the oath and from there they're a soldier but they've not been trained yet right they haven't gone to basic training anything like that and as you give your life to Christ today yeah. uh, you're gonna you're gonna be a follower of Jesus yeah. and here's the thing you're gonna be perfect at it right because yeah. you're just starting out and that's what yeah. we all are and yeah. none of us are perfect yeah. uh, and even after even after this I don't take don't tell your mom and dad but you won't be perfect right so you won't do everything perfectly but here's the thing uh, yeah. when you give your life to Christ yeah Incredible things happen that we don't even know about. Your name is written in the in the Lamb's Book of Life. Scripture okay. says okay. Uh, you are. Um, uh, 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 you don't have to worry yeah. about what happens in this life, okay. right? Because you know you, there's yeah. next life. You're going to be with the Lord, and so that's a cool yeah. thing. And I was thinking about the fact that in Acts chapter two, when the Apostle Peter is. Um, uh, uh, talking to the crowd and he tells them he says hey listen you, I don't know if you guys know or not but you guys killed Jesus yeah. right this is only 50 days yeah. after Jesus had 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 um, resurrected from the dead and the people when the people heard it they said oh no what do we do yeah. and the Apostle Peter says repent and be baptized every yeah. one of you for the forgiveness of your yeah. sins and you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit yeah. and so what's interesting is something's gonna happen that yeah. we don't get to see with our with our waking yeah. eyes when you're baptized into Christ, not only is your name written in the Lamb's Book of yeah. Life in heaven, but the Holy Spirit lives within you. Yeah. Uh, and that begins to change. And so when you read your own Bible, the Lord kind of helps you. It's mm-hmm. not an audible voice, at least I don't hear an audible voice, but mm-hmm. it's that still small voice within us yeah. uh, that you'll hear. And that's exciting. Yeah. And I got to thinking about the fact that um, baptism is an interesting thing. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, uh, they actually were doing baptism before John the Baptist come along. Yeah. Folks don't know that we're having a baptism, do they? So we'll turn that off. So, um, but what's interesting is um, Jesus uh, is baptized. We talked about yeah. that here at church a few yeah. weeks ago, right? Yeah. But what's incredible is that now you and I get the chance to do the same thing. Yeah. And the Apostle Paul lets us see why this is a thing. Yeah. He says in Romans chapter 6, he says, don't you know that all of us, who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. Yeah. We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. And so baptism is a, is a picture and what some people call an identification with Jesus. We get to kind of do what Jesus did at the cross and at the tomb, which is an incredible thing because yeah. you're doing it right here at Easter time, right? Yeah. How Jesus was died for us, buried in a tomb, and then he rose three days later. In similar fashion, yeah. spiritually speaking, you're dying to your old self. Yeah. Being Not that you had a lot of bad sins, right? But you're dying to your old self and you're being raised up yeah. into the newness of life. And yeah. that's an exciting thing. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and so I'm excited that you're yeah. making this decision today. Yeah. And it's a brave decision. Yeah. And so here in a second, Bella's going to come up and she's yeah. going to get you uh, to repeat the confession of faith. Yeah. And um, in Matthew chapter 16 is where we see this first when Jesus asks his disciples, who do people say that I am? And they're like, well, some people say this, some say that. And then Jesus says, well, who do you say I am? And you get to answer that question today. And as you and I talked a little bit ago, in that confession uh, is uh, you're confessing your faith in Christ. You're confessing, yep, I'm not perfect and I need Jesus. And you're confessing his name. And what's interesting is the scripture says that if you confess me, Jesus says, if you confess me before others, I'll confess you before my Father in heaven. Absolutely incredible. And so Bella, if you would, would you come up and ask him to repeat the confession of faith? Can you just repeat what I say? Yes. Okay. I believe. I believe. That Jesus is the Christ. That Jesus is the Christ. The Son of the living God. The Son of the living God. And he is my Lord and Savior. And he is my Lord and Savior. Okay. All right, Richie. 
because you profess your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, Bill and I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Would you close your eyes? Ready, Bill? Okay, let me pray yeah. with you. Father, I thank you so much for Richie. Uh, Lord, I pray that you would bless him um, on his journey with you, Father. I pray that you would walk with him every step of the way. That you would lead him, guide him. And Father, I thank you uh, for uh, friends like uh, Bella and Joel and Kim and his family. Lord, I, I just lift them up to you and I ask, Lord God, that you would walk with them and be with them and bless them as well. Father, I pray you'd help us as, um, as fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, that we help him at every step, Father God. Uh, that, uh, that we might help him grow in you and that he might help others grow in you as well. It's in Jesus' name we pray all these things. Amen. 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 Proud of you, brother. Yeah.